What's going on guys? You can tell I have my uh, set going up right now for episode 3. But this episode's not about that. This episode is about a custom action figure review slash showcase that I made myself. And I'm very proud of well, things a little sticky, but whatever. Alright, anyway, this is one of my favorite divas. Becky Lynch. I've really been patient on Mattel making a new one, but since they haven't yet, I figured I'll just make my own. And since I didn't really have any other parts, I used a Maria Canellis Jack's action figure. I based this one off of this attire right here, as you can see. So, going on, um, let's start from the face. This is the most simplistic one to go with. Um, dyed the hair orange. Um, this arm sleeve, whatever you want to call it, was already there, so I just kind of filled in the holes. And uh, the side I end up having to do myself. As you can see, the sides aren't even. And I had tape to outline it to make sure, but then the paint seeped through the tape. As you can um, see right here, but it's no big deal. Uh, I might fix that later if I wanted to. Going down to the bust, we have um, her green top with uh, the black over it, as you can see in the picture right here. Um, from the, from down there, she has her steampunk esque Victorian attire with the two belts. Of course I didn't get the buckles because I'm sort of new at sculpting. Down we have the green shorts with the black uh, cutout I guess, I don't know what else to call that. Moving down, you can see I end up uh, just painting some black on her legs which I tried to cover up with um, some like gold, gold reddish mix because Becky Lynch does occasionally wear these uh, Gold dish stocking attire underneath their shorts. Down we have the shoes. This is this was probably the most trickiest part of them all, especially because I didn't really know what to do. Um, I mean, I did know what to do with the shoes. I, as you can see, I painted them gold, and I and I quickly went down to, um, to try and make them match her real shoes as possible, the JB Gold A6, if you don't know what I'm talking about, those are the shoes that she wears in her life for wrestling. For the tassels, I guess, I'm not sure what to call those that she wears. But, anyway, she normally wears her steampunk-esque tassels, we'll just call them, uh, what with the gears and whatnot, but since I didn't really have a steampunk-esque cloth or pattern, I just went with camo, and it worked really good because I ended up painting the majority of her attire, or at least half of her attire, green, so, you know, it worked out pretty well. I It helped a lot to, have, to sculpt on, like, the top rings that hold her uh, tassels up. And shoot, um, the back of her paint just kind of stuck to my finger, but whatever. Anyway, moving this is on. my Becky Lynch action figure, uh, custom. I'm so proud how, of how it came out. May not be the best, may not be the worst, but whatever. I'm very proud of it. I was certainly proud of how it came out. My first Diva custom, so 